Now we're clean. See how much better this is? That didn't even take that long. It's, it's, oh, it's so much better. Is there clipping? No, I don't see any clipping. Do you see any clipping? No, there's no clipping. Totally fine. There's no clipping at all. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't see shit. My name is Ken, and welcome back to my continuing satisfactory series on Update 8 Experimental. This is episode 20, and if you'd like to catch up from the beginning, a link to episode 1 is in the description. This is the first of two episodes where we will be working on completing the cosmetic work on the starter factory so we can move on to bigger and better things. Well, those belts won't clip themselves, and neither will I. So let's get started. Welcome to live stream and episode 20, 2 0. And our factory, functionally speaking, our starter factory is finished. We have been working our tails off for roughly 100 hours, actually almost exactly 100 hours. And we are now going to be looking to give this factory a finished look for the next couple of streams. And then after that, move on to setting up infrastructure that we're going to need in order to really build our mega factories and kind of move on to our next stage of this playthrough. Today's stream is the exterior cosmetics. And then the next stream will be the interior cosmetics. We will say goodbye to working on this. We'll call this finished. But we really need to make sure that we give this a finished look. We don't want an unfinished look, which we still have. So we're going to be working on that. We'll spend a few hours. We're not going to go crazy, crazy. But we do need to wrap this up in a bow. And so we feel good about leaving it and moving on to other things. So I've done some prep work for us ahead of time. I have a very good idea of what I want to do. There will be some experimentation, but let's get started. First thing we have to do is we have to say goodbye to our lovely space elevator. He is amazing, but we will not be seeing him for quite some time. I do have a spot planned for him in one of the mega factories. If you've seen Rogue One, the movie, then you have an idea of what I'm going to use him for the building at the end of that movie. If you haven't, you should go watch it and see if you can imagine where I'm going to put the space elevator. So that's where he will go, but not for a very long time. So bye, space elevator. We'll see you. Next thing, I have made a few blueprints for us. They still need work. It's a start. And these blueprints will help us get these cosmetics in, the walls in quickly, because I, I want to go fast. We're going to knock this stuff out. OK, and we're going to use blueprints to move quickly. And like I said, I've already done some testing. I know basically what I want to do, but I haven't worked out all the details. And so we're going to do that right now. First thing we need to do is we need to clear this bad boy and then let me load up. Let's see, I guess. Oh, there they are. OK, good. I want to show you guys kind of what I'm thinking. I and mean, I'm already want to change a couple of items here. So this is what I'm thinking for the edge. So imagine this glass frame foundation is the edge of this right here. This is what we're going to be putting on on the edge of it. I want to do a couple more things to it, but this is the basics. And then I have an extension, a wall extension that will go underneath it kind of to bring it down. And the overall plan, we're going to do walls first, right? We have to walls or lack of walls. That's the number one thing that we're missing here that gives us the most unfinished look is we've got to fix sort of the wall situation. We've got a roof. We just need our walls. So that's what we're going to be doing first. And my thought is I really love how looking down our factory here and looking out into this this area to the west i love how this looks and i want to keep this open right i don't want to put any kind of wall here i will put a little bit of a lip we'll do like a shortened truncated wall up here 
but out here facing this direction plus we can take the power out from this way you know i i really want to keep this open and then similarly on this side i'm not a hundred percent sure what i want to do i am debating whether or not i want to take these foundations out to match this and then maybe leave this open as well so we have kind of a, a whole corner that's open i think i'm leaning towards that and that gives us more space in this factory if we need anything later maybe drones or we will do a train station connected to this factory it won't be here that is gonna be way 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 down here and the train line is gonna run through here run probably right through there and so this area where where this catwalk is that's where gonna that's where our train stations are gonna be we got two streams to get as much cosmetics in as we can. But I'm thinking we could use some extra space in case we need it. Or maybe we just, maybe we build our truncated wall, or truncated, yeah, wall that hangs down to maybe here-ish, and we, and we don't build this out. Maybe we do that. If we need this space, we'll take it at that point. Yeah, let's do that. Now, that leaves, that's two walls down, right? Two sides out of four. I think this, the back wall, we already discussed a little bit. And then all of the, this, this side over here, this is getting, I think, yeah, I'm not sure what we'll do here. Maybe we'll put a, maybe we'll put some glass foundation in right here. No, I don't know. That won't look good with glass. We'll, we'll think of something for this back wall. Probably something really simple. There's not a lot to see over here. And then definitely out here, this wall, after we start inclining up, this whole section over here, we're gonna do the blueprint that I worked on. We should be able to see through it. It should look really cool. The main theme for this is gonna be the glass and then sharp, sharpness, kind of jagged edges. So that's kind of why we're going with this. And then, I don't know, these kind of look like TIE fighters to me. Uh, I kind of like this. So we're going for the sharp and the jagged, almost like a little bit like um, dangerous. And then mostly see-through because this this vista is just awesome, right? And we want to we wanna take advantage. Mostly natural light and mostly see-through. That's why we're doing glass or no walls at all. So that's the basic plan. Let's get our inventory a little bit under control. This works, except I am going to... This still has sort of an unfinished look off the back end. So we're going to have a lot of experimentation this, this episode and this stream. So we're not crazily building a factory. We definitely got our fill of that doing the who do we like that i think that's more like it that's what we like we got the aluminum done and from start to finish in one stream which i was pretty proud of so i know that aluminum can really uh, people can really struggle with it so you know uh, if you need inspiration and you know check out that last that last episode 19 is the aluminum okay i like this right this gives us an actual finished look I, though although i'm not sure about the color i like this being white but i'm not sure about that being white so let's change it to our other swatch yeah the black the black looks like it could work. And then on these, or let's just try the gray. Do we like a gray? Uh, once we set this, right, we're, we're locked in. So I actually do like this gray. Let's do this. Let's do, we need a swatch for 
our gray. We'll do the Durasteel gray. This is actually the Star Wars gray. That is the hex code for the Star Wars gray. So very similar to what we had in the custom swatch, but it's a little lighter. I like this. I like this. We can change it later if we change the swatch. This is kind of like uh, our secondary color to our base. Okay, so that's our, yeah, that's our, our blueprint. Let's save this. All right, now let's load the second one that I made. And this is, this goes underneath it. So this is the continuation of that upper design. And like I said, we're doing this so that we can just knock out these walls quickly. And then basically I would just continue it down. So we should have rows of the of this design here. That one, I think he's ready to go. Okay, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do the corner here, but my guess is we're not gonna want to, let's see. Um, yeah, let's start here. And then our first one is going to be a pain to place. So I need to give him a a little room. I think he went down three. And then we're going to give him a little platform. And we're going to... Yeah, here we go. So, yeah. So what I've had to do, see if I, if I didn't have that platform, it would place up here. Right? And, and we don't want that. So I had to build sort of a, a floor for him. And then now, luckily, we have our lock hologram, which is amazing. And he is in place. And then he'll be easier to place from now on because we can use the blueprint mode, I think. So and then we skip one and then we delete three. One, two, three, and then skip one. One, two, three, and then so on and so forth. All right. How far out can I go here with this bad boy? Ooh, that's about the limit, but that should work. Okay. So let's see if we can knock these out. Uh, blueprint mode. That's not quite right because we need the extra space. But... Because I deleted them, we'll know that it's good when we're all white. And we just move on down the line. H. Fast cosmetics, baby. I know that not everybody really worries about them, but I don't know. I think if you're smart about it, if you use blueprints, if you kind of try to have a theme, even if it's not a very good one, like sharp, jagged glass, <laughs> you can really take the work that, you know, you put in on the factory and really, really make it look amazing. You know how it is marketing, packaging, packaging is more important than the actual product. So let's see, what are we going to do with you? You are a pain in my butt because you are not even. Um, oh, hey, look at this. Uh, hmm. Hmm. That fixed my problem. I think this works. And then we'll extend. Ooh, yeah, that gives us that. That's what. That lets us extend this out with a glass foundation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That solves two problems at once. That worked out really, really, really well. Um, how's this side going to look? This side is going to look perfect. We have uh, two perfectly placed. 
Oh, actually, you know what I was going to do? I was going to do a, a separate blueprint because now that we're going off the different direction, those are pointed wrong. But honestly, it's faster just to delete them and replace them. Sometimes it's hard. You know, you, you get an idea. It looks okay, but you have to kind of imagine what it looks like on a larger scale, right? And this is definitely one of those those times. All right, let's... Oh no! There we go. Will you uh, will you build out here on the roof? Oh, you will. Look at you. Nice. Okay, let's put our second one into place if we can. Are you close enough for us to do our deed? You are. Oh my gosh. How do you look? Ooh. You look good. Um, ooh, one thing we're going to have to definitely do is we're working our way through here. Uh, all right, I think we go here and we just lock, roll him forward. There. I'm right at the edge of my limit for my hover pack. But uh, we should be okay. Right, let's see what that looks like. I think that looks pretty cool. And I think we will probably take this down to the subfloor level. Maybe we'll do some glass foundations. Let's build this guy a friend. Yes, yeesh, yeesh. That's not right. He needs the extra space. But I don't have any power. One, two, three. Uh, how does that look even? And I just, I know I sound like a broken record, but this lock hologram is unbelievable. Uh, yeah, I think that works. Yep, that works. And then we can just take off the top here. So the good news is, and the way I tried to make this, is that these next ones should be even easier. Blueprint mode, baby. And then we'll do, we'll probably leave that corner open actually. Hmm, what should we do here? Uh, let's get rid of Get rid of this. Oh, let's leave that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We built this extra piece for the space elevator. All right, and then I'm thinking... Basically, what am I thinking? I'm thinking we build a crap ton of glass foundation here to match the roof. So where's our trusty, where's our trusty, there we are, glass floor. So let's see what we got. Don't tell me that's going to like perfectly line up. I mean, I need luck on my side, and I don't want to waste it on last foundations. I mean, 
mean, I guess it makes sense. Because... Run the grid, but damn. I'll take it. Whatever it takes. And then I don't know if we need this space over here, but we have it. Hmm. Yeah, we're a little off. That makes me sad. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. I should have started over there. Well, all right. Dang it. That's okay. Can you imagine? Well, again, you don't have to. You guys don't have to imagine. What a pain in the ass it would be to have to do that one at a time. All right. Do we like you? Yes, we like you a lot. We'll figure out something for these bottoms. That'll probably be next. I like it a lot. Cool, and then I think these bottom two can go. I think we may need... Hmm. We will move that. Here. Uh, we'll uh, figure that out soon. But I just want to get rid of these. I'm so excited to get past this base. I mean, I love this base. I'm proud of this base. But also at the same time, like we've been here forever. Actually, not that long, really, for how much that we built in this base. Oh, yeah, this looks really cool. And then I already know, I mean, let's be honest. I love glass and coated concrete. Those are my two favorite things to build with. And shocker, that's what we're building with. This looks really cool. I, I, I like this. I definitely wanted to do some sort of shape in this glass because with the way that Lumen works, it casts shadows. And, you know, so we should get something really cool. Plus, you know, it's open, right? We can... We can leave our factory whenever we want. All right. Let's figure out how we are going to make the bottom look finished. So, the easiest thing to do, which we're probably going to do is jam one of these in the hole. The only problem with that is you've got this like, I mean, I guess we could point them at each other, right? We could do like, but the more I look at this, the less I'm happy with it. So maybe we can make something work with a roof, a roof. Let's do glass. And then we could do kind of the, what if we did the opposite? Inner corner. All right, if we did that, then what do we do? We'd get rid of these. Ooh. Ooh, it also goes together really fast, which sucks. I put in all of those, um, those walls, and then we're going to delete them all. Oh, it only goes in fast because the walls are in. Okay, cool. Now I don't feel bad. I like that. But we have the same issue. Maybe we build a maybe we maybe we build a, a bottom blueprint. Could just go with that. Alright. Okay, so that's our blueprint. Yep. That's our blueprint. Now having said that, I do not like 
the how this works. So let's just bring the floor back. All right, I can handle that. And then for this one, we can just do half foundations. There's no half glass foundation, fortunately. And then we'll kind of end up doing the same thing here, but that'll give us a border. Okay, let's knock out this blueprint really quickly. That's kind of cool. Okay. Our wall went right into our hub. What can we do about this, guys? Maybe we relocate these items. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. We really need to get rid of all this stuff. Maybe we relocate this more under over here. And our blueprint maker. Maybe we'll put our blueprint maker. You know, we, I did say we needed, we had some extra space. There's space over here for sure. We definitely need a blueprint designing zone. Why are you being a pain? Let's see if I can make this go where I want him to go. What happened? Oh, you're, you're a little bit too low. That's what happened. All right. This is sort of the problem ish with blueprints. Like sometimes if you would just like, you have to be working on a pretty big project because sometimes getting the blueprints right takes a while. And you're not saving any time if you spend more time on the damn blueprint than you were going to spend on just building the thing. See, by by now, we could have just built this. See what I mean about blueprints? A lot of people are like, you know, I wouldn't say like giving me grief. We're kind of like. Why aren't you building a blueprint for those refineries? And I was like, well, I'm only building 40 of them. Like. It's not I, I just don't think on smaller projects, sometimes I don't know. It's one of those cost benefit analysis, and, and sometimes you think something will take a short amount of time and then it ends up taking forever. Like this fixing this stupid blueprint. But the good news is, is that if you do work on it and fix it, then often you learn and you it's faster in the it's faster in the long run. Now, will you you're not going to do you're not you're off off by a little bit, aren't you? No, 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 no. I think it's still this guy. It's this, it's this mother, right? It's this guy is kicking my butt. Maybe I just do that. I'm hitting the over keys because he's a weird, like, I'm using him and not his intended purpose. He, um... Oh, this one's not even. Well, no wonder I can't get it to be even. Because it can't. Well, crap. I know it's frustrating for some of you guys. You know, it's like, Ken, Jesus, leave it alone. It's fine. But like, if you're not happy with it. Is it fine? Too far. We even here? I think we're even. The stupid thing. And we're gonna like use this like for like not very long at all. But that's okay. I 
And he does not want to play nicely. Might be too much for our friend locking hologram to handle. Nope. Handled it just fine. I mean, it does look cool. Right, I'm getting faster with that. All right, let's get rid of all this. I totally could have had this done by now. Wish I could do the same thing for this. But I'm I'm good. I'm good. I'm not gonna. That's one of those like calling a balance. You know, just okay. It's close. It looks good. It's maybe not perfect perfect, but maybe something like that is what I come in here and fix off stream. You know? Or like I said, maybe I'll, I've been kind of lacking in my members content just because I'm so focused on like the main content. But, you know, I think the, the people that have become my channel members are, you know, they didn't really do it for that. They did it to support me, which is super, super cool. But at the same time, I still want to try to provide some extra content, but not at the cost of like content for everybody. Right? So maybe something where I come in, maybe do a members only stream for just like this really like stupid fiddly like crap. I don't know. Yay, we figured out an ultra fast way to do it. We're done already. Except I still have to go through and do the every the every other one. Oh, let me do that, I guess. I'm basically like hitting random numbers, or, uh, random buttons on my keyboard to try to get it to work. And until I get it. Okay. That's cool. I mean, it does look cool. Um, let's do this. Let's figure out how we are going to handle this area. We'll just do the same wall here. I was thinking of doing something different, but, you know, it ain't Baroque. Where is the end? That is the end. This is the building that I'm gonna have the most freedom with design-wise because I'm not really modeling this off of anything like in Star Wars, like I'm gonna be most of the rest of the buildings. Uh, let's see. I'll leave that for now until I get the walls in, and then I'll then I'll clean that up. We got to clean all of these up. I got to turn them. Oh, I guess this one too. I just deleted the wrong one. Just trying to make this look finished. All right, let's get some walls in. Uh, what if, what if we build from the bottom up? All right, okay. So I gotta delete the top and then I can delete the bottom. All right, we'll do that. 
and then we'll build it from the bottom up so that all of those things match. So we'll we'll uh, we'll do that. So I just hit G here to put turn on the dismantle filter for ramp wall, four meter. So I won't I won't select anything that isn't four meter ramp wall. But apparently it's only giving me the oh that's because oh I know why I'm dumb. Those aren't four meter. Those are inverses. Doy. Okay, so now I'm locking that, and now I'll do those. Yeah, those aren't the same piece, Ken. It was doing exactly what I told it to, only delete that one piece. Okay, so this is actually really fast. And then what will we do? We will... He doesn't want to stack. And the lock hologram does not work vertically, as we know. Ooh, but I bet you oh he does he goes next to his buddy. That's what we do perfect That's exactly what we want just just go right next to your your buddy your pal Your friend Those are two spaces Yeah, we need uh Need to head back and I'll build just this middle section, a blueprint for the middle. And then we'll bang, those should just fit right in. Cause it's the top and bottom of two other blueprints. And it's already built. All I gotta do is load the, the roof edge blueprint and delete portions. Now please go where I want you to. Yes, yes. But I'm out of I'm out of uh, I'm out of materials. Of course I am. But that totally worked. I love it when a plan comes together. Now, one thing that we need to do, and we need to just do it because it's a pain in the butt, is put these in. Let's turn off soup. Remember, we're looking for a finished feeling. That's what we're going for? Finished. We want to put this behind us and we have I have a budget of two streams to do it you know I was uh, complaining about I'll go back to my story in a second but I was complaining about you know taking the time to make these blueprints and then we're like oh we're already done and then you know not really we're still using them you know kind of interesting Thought we were done, but we're not. There we go. See that green line? Now we know he's lined up. And I wonder if we can just slap you on there. We can. Um, all right, that works. There we go. Now it matches. Okay, cool. We just basically remove that column. And then that's one less column we kind of have to worry about here. Although, I don't know. I don't know, man. I just... Let's do this next. This is next. We, we did the floor. We did the walls. We'll have two complete sides of our base done. If I can figure out what to do with this monstrosity. What if... We give this a little bit of, okay, big metal pillar, too big, small metal pillar is a little clippy, but I do like that. Now, what are we going to do? with this angle. How are we gonna make this look good? Because this was kind of designed for flat. Um, what if, what if we, okay, all right, it's designed for the flat, but if we leave it flat, what if we get to flat from the angle 
see if we can do this. How would we do this? Right? We would go like this. Now we gotta get that down to there. Okay, and so we would do that by doing this. So all of this has to go, at least for now. Then what goes here? Is it a piece that they don't make because I'm trying to do some stupid stuff? Very, very possible. That goes there. That is correct. That is what goes there. And then we go here. Then we go there. Well, when you can't make your wall work, redesign your roof, apparently. Give me some of that juice. Now we're going to have some funky town with the fact that I, I, I keep meaning to say this. I wish they would give us, they really need to give us glass um, angled walls. I get that these glass walls are down here. Right, they're not they're not part of these walls. Right, there's no glass option here. They're their own item. But if they're gonna do that, then I need a version of each one of these windows that so that I could build exactly this. I mean, look at this this problem that we're having. And I get to choose do I leave a hole here or do I hang over here? Right? Now, is there another option? Is there another option that I'm not thinking of? There might be. All I'm doing, it would work if I got a half a corner. Because all I'm doing is transferring the problem if I, if I, if I do that. Right, I could do this. Right, that, that works. And then, like, what do I do down here? Do I do this? I still have this problem. I still have this corner. I mean, that actually, that looks way cooler for doing that. I didn't fix my problem, but I came up with something that looked cool. And I made this, like, totally needlessly complex. But it's, it's kind of cool. I still have these damn holes that sometimes you can hide. Like you could... Right? That one's fine. Right? And he's fine. And then he's fine. And then he, and he's fine all the way up. And then we can go this guy and this guy and this guy. But I didn't really fix the initial problem. But you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna we're gonna we're just gonna do this. Because there's nothing else we can do. And it looks okay. Uh, it's not perfect. Oh, we need the um, inverse. But it's not bad. It looks a little janky. I, I wish it was different. But um, yeah, that looks cool. Do our same trim. 
This look good. Uh, yes, the nudging. The nudging is... I don't think I can play this game without it, to be honest with you. Update 8. Lumen and nudging, that's all, like... I can't go back. Like, that is... Nudging is life. And, uh, so is Lumen. Okay. We have two sides done of this monstrosity, and those are the difficult sides. What is that doing there? Uh, those were the difficult sides, so... I have another fun... We may handle this differently. We're most likely going to handle this differently over here. But we're going to do the same thing on the top, but we're going to end it early. In fact, we might... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> we landed in the water. Okay. We're going to finish off these walls. Two sides are done, the two hard sides. We're going to do the two easy sides. And then we're going to clean up some of this stuff. We're going to move. We're going to move our friend here, the blueprint designer. We're going to move our hub. We're going to move this stuff. And then, actually, we haven't finished that wall. But we'll move this stuff and then finish that wall. Perfect. Now we just need to delete our starter position, and we're good. So, if you guys watch the Coffee Stain live stream today, then you will know that update 8 is hopefully getting a new update tomorrow. And apparently, it fixes the stuttering that I've been having such a problem with. And not just me, of course. Everybody really playing Update 8. So I'm really looking forward to that. So hopefully, by our next stream, things are a lot smoother. Ooh, that, that worked out. That worked out perfectly. This factory that I built already for you guys is about as big as the largest factory that I built in my other save like i'm I, like i don't even this is all insanity right really really we're on our last one and i'm short five iron plate really bro it's not cool okay what we need to do is we need to craft some sort of bottom for ourselves so this looks finished and i got a, a a feeling and the only solution more cowbell go down Do we like this? I think we love this. I love this. This is going to be great. It's going to be really, really great. So let's just do it. And we're going to do this one by hand. I'm not going to build a blueprint for it. I totally could. Oh no! We got to say goodbye to our blueprint builder. Okay. I'm gonna leave the uh, a giant box. Oh, it won't even let me do it. Clear designer. There we go. That wasn't that bad. 
All right, now that we have that one in to work off of. Nope, not a two meter. We need a four meter inner corner. And we look at our friend, the wall that we built. And we will have to go back through and delete him. As, and as long as I don't go too low, I can hover underneath the ceiling because of all the power generation happening above me. All right, so for this one, I'm going to hit G again or, or full frame window, lock it, and then I can pass it over. We're getting close. And then let's see, what are we going to do next? Well, we need to do some sort of end, not necessarily a wall. Um, I think I know what I'll do. It'll still be glass, but it'll be that glass wall that has a lot more metal in it. For the underfloor, as we got to kind of close off the underfloor. Okay, let's build the bottoms for this side. And then we are getting there. This looks cool. I like it, you guys. I like it a lot. We definitely have to clean up that crap out there. Okay, but first, I got to come up with something for this. And I'll probably just do... I'm, I, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to knock this out. Um, I'm going to be more careful, and I'm not going to do what I did exactly over on the other side. It's a bit of a bummer that we don't have... Wow. We really uh, cut it close there. It's a bit of a bummer. We don't have the glass that I want, but... What are you gonna do? Uh, what do I want? What do I want? I just want some of these. And then I just want a little bit of this. Delete that. And then I should be able to dupe this down. And then build that back. Okay. Okay. Now, now what? Well, we just, all we have to do is build our little setup. We've been working on these dang walls since the stream started, but I think we're done. I had to say it. Well, it looks, it looks really cool. I love these shadows. I was trying to go for some, like, really interesting shadows. Because of Lumen gives you this, like, stark shadows. And I think we achieved it. Uh, all right. What is next? Let's... Okay, the top, the top floor is done and the wall... Uh, no, the walls aren't done. We need to we need to finish the walls and to do that we need to move the hub and delete some of the stuff over here that we that's been hanging around this is this the guys these have been around since the beginning it's uh it's a new day a new day so is this I built these foundations and then I dropped this stuff. Um, all right, but we got to reroute our power because our power is doing some funky town things. Um, really what we need, we need one of these in the base. 
bean. Bean, bean, bean. We gotta put walls up just to keep bean out. Let's, okay, I don't like this power setup. And then how is, okay, this power, he's being run through there. I mean, this miner, he can't move. I can move everything else, I can't move him. So, I think we just need a better power solution. Okay, let's do a double wall. And we're getting... Oh no, these. These are going to be a real pain in the butt. Where am I going to... I'll move those last. I'll move those last. I have no idea where I'm going to put them. Uh, I also need to change over... Oh yeah, I don't have any power. A uh, joy. I'm gonna switch all these over to these foundations to the coated concrete. But I don't want to go farther than we are here, so this is the last line. If past kin knew how crazy this factory would get when he ran up onto this untouched nature. Is there anything in there? Oh my god, there's a ton of crap in there. Well, we don't need any of this compacted coal. That's for sure. I had no idea. My point is I had no idea how crazy things were going to get. I mean, actually, I, I guess I did. It was my plan to do them this crazy the whole time. But still, to see it happen. Okay, so... We have an open space. Let's change over to... You get coated and you get coated. Everybody gets coated concrete! That needs to be turned that there's room and then I hate this power I hate the way this power is set up all right I'm gonna fix it if I don't if I don't fix it now when when am I gonna fix it how bad will this be if I just delete this probably pretty bad in Yes, yes, yes. Then we're going to do it again because we're already committing sins against nature. And then you should come all the way down to here. Now, I've been considering using priority power switches, but these are like one off, like miners. I just. They're not really going to save anything to, like, isolate these using a priority power switch. So I, I'm just, I'm not going to stress it. Okay, now we don't need you, we don't need you, and we don't need you. You've been replaced. Now, I'm going to turn you. Uh, if you're squeamish... Look away. Mark two, let's face him this way. So we have a, a walk. I'm just trying to get a walkway, right? That's all I'm trying to do. Give me a floor hole. Give me a Mark five because why the hell not? All right, I see what you're gonna do. I see what you're gonna do to me. Because those aren't on an exact grid, I can't put it in a floor hole. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do this little wall. And uh, now we're clean. See how much better this is? That didn't even take that long. It's, it's, oh, it's so much better. Is there clipping? No, I don't see any clipping. 
Do you see any clipping? No, there's no clipping. I don't see shit. Totally fine. There's no clipping at all. I don't know what you're talking about. Alright. Glad we established that. Uh, let's see. Where are we going to put our hub? Now, this hub, his days of sending up a ton of milestones over and over and over again are over. He has four more p milestones to send. And to be honest with you, I just, I don't care too much if he clips when he sends the milestone. It is, um, I'd rather put our hub in a nice spot visually than worry too, too much about what's going to happen, you know, over the next 500 hours of the save, what will essentially take up like 25 seconds. I'm not, I'm not going to stress it. Okay, that's our that's our boy. Now let's put all of our junk back in here. I don't even know why we have some of this stuff. I, I'm gonna leave it though. Oh, why do we even have that lever? All right, what are, where are we gonna put our sort of one-off storage stuff? We're probably gonna build it. Just inside this wall. And our ma'am and our little... Yeah. We're going to build that stuff over here. I remember the, my first time playing Satisfactory and thinking the equipment hub was, like, big. And then a little a little crafty bench will you fit well fit if I make you fit nice that works we got a little crafting cove it's cleaning day okay that's done Love me my Mark V belts. And these are done. Okay, now we can extend our wall to the ground. Do this by hand. Um... Actually, yeah, and then our blueprint, we need the wall bottoms. Oh, crap. I hope that's not going to... Dang it. I think those are going to clip. Oh, we have a bigger problem, though. That's not going to work. Let's do something different here. Let's take these down. Okay, I know what we're going to do. I'm going to take these down. Down to Goblin Town. Mostly because I, I don't want to deal with the, the clipping. Like through the mountain there. Uh, I'm going to let it go. And then we need a wide open space here. What did we do? We did small metal pillar and we went right there. Go up to here. I'm trying to finish her off. Finish her off. I need some ugly power poles that I just got rid of. The irony is not lost on me, people. I know what I did. There we go. Alright, cool. Call it good. 
The little doorway is done. Uh, there's some clipping here. What can we do about it? We can do a half foundation. That to coated concrete. And then what can we do about this? We can put this to coat of concrete and do that bad boy. Ooh, that's not gonna work there. Well, that's a whole problem. This bro needs to stop here, I think. I think I'm just gonna leave this. Ooh, that doesn't look bad. That looks good. We're gonna we're gonna call this good. There's some issues here. Alright, is there something very, very fast I can do to fix this issue? Because I want to move on to other things. All right, I'm just gonna knock these out. Then our floor here is done. This all is good. Let's work our way around. Let's see. I don't mind this. I think this works. I don't like this, though. We don't need this wall. We just need the top one. You know, we're wrapping everything up. Uh, maybe we put in... But we need an inverse. Nice. Make it concrete. We need this all to be coated concrete. And I am not I am not doing it from the ground. Remember last time? I created boxes everywhere. Never again! Can't afford it. I'm out of plastic. I got all this plastic right here. Since this is kind of the flooring, I kind of consider this the outside. Even though it's sort of the inside. Oh yeah, we were going to move that. What can we do? I know what we're going to do. Let's just run so that they're on the same switch. That's the correct solution to that problem. There we go. Now they're all on the same light switch. I only have to touch it one time if I want to change the lighting in here. Uh, okay, that's cleaned up. We What are we doing? We are back. Um, these concrete. Concrete, yes. Do these walls real quick. Trying to go fast, guys. I'm not even coloring the concrete. We're just... We're just knocking it out. And then let's do this one. What I, what I, my philosophy kind of with the best that is possible with this game is to finish and like get stuff 100% done. Right? Get stuff where you're, you're actually really happy with it. You know, and that's, uh, that's tough to do sometimes, um, especially when there's always, like, another thing that needs doing, or a shiny thing, or you have to stop and go build power, and, um, you know, I just, I want to get this done so we don't have to come back to it. Uh, okay, we're gotta, we gotta be close. We've got to be close. Uh, 
Okay, let's do the little thing. What are we gonna do? We're gonna do go to concrete. Yep. Boom, boom, boom. Very cool. I like it. I like it a lot. That diagonal is really, really cool. Let's do it here. Oh my god. Man down. Then just you can go there. And then I need some asphalt. Boom, boom. Nice. And let's do the same over here. Sorry, I'll take my gun off. Every time I, <laughs> every time I uh, was finished building with the gun, it was like loading. Dude, one day I was playing like my first playthrough and that kept happening. And I was like, what the hell is that noise? Like, I, I mentally was not connecting that reload sound with, with what was happening. It was really funny. And then I felt like a dummy. Okay, cool. The road is done. All right. A ghost truck just flew by. Let's finish building this out. I have no idea what or if we're ever going to use any of this space down here. But... Mostly, I just want to make it match. What if we placed wall bottom? Place for me? You will. You will. Okay. You're on a halfy foundation. Um, how much do you poke in? Not that much. That right? That's right. But we need to be an entire tile over. And then, are you in the center of that tile? You are, my friend. So that is correct. Thought we were done with this stuff. I thought we were done. I, I don't know. How, I, I don't know how I lived without the lock hologram for blueprints. I mean, I just, I just don't know. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. One, two, three, four. And I can't even imagine, like, trying to do this much custom, nice-looking cosmetics without a blueprint. Oh, I see you're going to be in the way. All right, I guess that's where we stop. Is there anything we could do about that? Not really. Um, so we'll... Uh, we'll stop it there. Uh, okay. So... Let's place the floor in. Then maybe if I hold control correctly... And look where I'm supposed to look... We can do these really, really fast. There we go. Is that right? Why does it look off? Um, I think it's right. One to go, and then I gotta fill in all the little pieces in between. And now we gotta go up top. We gotta delete the glass we don't like sticking up. then we got to figure out how we're going to plug that little triangular gap with the glass. I'm hitting G to make sure I only delete full frame windows. And not something like a power line that I don't notice. Which would suck. Now, how did we say we were going to do this? I'm going to... Rotate and then come back. Something like something like that. I didn't mean to build two. Not yet. 
One, two, three, four. Okay, I like that. I do. I don't want this to be flat, so what would we do? We would do... I don't want a full one. We do a half. Oh, let's turn zooping off. That's not doing anybody any good. Wait. I don't have to do something stupid. I just look at the... Oh my gosh. It, it, it puts it right where I want to if I just look at the... I don't have to lock hologram or anything. Look at the window and it goes right in. Yeah, much cooler. I know, it's subtle. Nobody would probably even really notice, but I know. I noticed. Okay, now just the other side. All right, what are we doing here? What? What are you? Are we? Can we just connect you? Can we just go like? Yes, we can. Uh, and yes, we will. I don't know what this is. It looks like a giant, like, I don't know, something. But whatever it is, I think I like it. Oh, no. Oh, well, I'm not going to change it now. But I meant to use the two meters. Oh, well. Done now. Okay, uh, that's done. All sides are done, all floors are done. Our exterior has been managed. Do we wanna do anything about this down here? Let's, I'm fine with it being open air. I like it even. But let's let's change it to regular concrete. Now we're doing coated. I can't help myself. I just cannot help myself. And I'm not gonna lie. Uh, basically, I just really like coated concrete and glass. So I, I, that's what I did. I'm a simple man. Simple man with simple tastes. Okay. So, what do I want? Yeah, I'm just going to dip this power line right here. And then where is that one? He's center, center. I am really looking forward to that not happening anymore. Okay, perfect. Um, there's actually an even better, uh, a silly, uh, a better solution. That. Um, we can get rid of all this. All right, now that we have a little space, let's build uh, a large metal pillar. All right, and then let's try. Our big propaganda sign. Wow, that place is so easily. The only problem is I got to match the height exactly. I'm going to call that good enough.
Yep, I like it. Uh, I really could actually blueprint that and then just place that down. Maybe, maybe, maybe one day I will. I, I feel like... I feel like we don't need this power anymore. I feel like we got power from this. And if we didn't, then we need to. Yeah, we did not. I did not hit her. I did not. Okay, so we're hooked up. And so we can clean up some of this. Actually, that's going nowhere. Old. All right. Please keep working. And then I really, really want to build a power tower for this, for this, for this bad boy. Will one fit up here? Yes. Does it look stupid? Uh, no. Okay, cool. I'll put some supports under those feet at some point, but not right now. Uh, now, if I cut this, the lights stay on. All right, good. Let me get rid of this stuff. All right, we cut. Back in. Yep. Now we can get rid of this. And get rid of... Alright. He stays, because we're using this guy as a... As a switch, for now. Uh, he's a little stupid and in the wrong spot. Actually... We don't even need that anymore. We do not need that. So... I'm just going to go from here to there and then cut all this out. Okay, great. Okay, cool. I like it. You know, it's, um, it's, it's something. Wow. All right. This is really good. What can we do? Little things can we do? I just, I'm trying to get the power out of the factory floor. That's all. No, it's not even that. Be that big of a deal. You go to here and you go to. That's not gonna work. Uh, I need you on the opposite side. So you go here. I hop in here. Why are you yellow? Oh. Uh, did I cut off power to... All my smelters? No? 
Uh, there is some problems, though. What's missing power? Ah, those are missing power. That's not good. Uh, I didn't like how this power was set up either, so I guess we're gonna change it. That's what happens when you don't have your overflow sink on. That's going to take a few minutes to fix the backlog. Uh, but we cleaned up another power pole along the way, so that's good. Luckily, they're Mark V belts, right? I had the blueprint maker up high before, and it was a pain in the ass. And I don't want to do that again. I don't know where we're going to put him. But we're not going to put him there. And we actually don't need any of this. We don't need this. This either. Anymore. We actually never needed him. We used this guy like... Once. Although, I guess that's not entirely true. We did use him to get back and forth when we lost our nine hard drives. Oh, look at this poor portable miner. He's literally been there since, like, episode three. We'll leave him. All right, cool. All right, that's cleaned up. Oh, I want to go clean up. I, I've been hating it. It's a horrible, horrible eyesore. There's um, right over there that roadway we used to get up. Nobody saw that. That one was not my fault. Totally not. Neither was that one. I wasn't boosting. I was in my inventory. Cleaning up this. We built this on the day I lost my hard drives. Look at our factory. Looks so nice. Oh, this hover pack is so amazing. If you've never tried one, it will change your life. Except when you need to travel fast. Oh, I missed one right there. I'll have to get him on the way back. Let's go get some more plastic. We've used so much plastic. We've mo we've used more plastic on just coated foundations than on anything else. Like we're not even using it for like circuit boards. I'm using the other recipe. <laughs> when you say starter factory, that's T1 for me, not aluminum. Yes, this is the mega starter factory. If you add mega in front of it, it's totally okay. Basically, I didn't want to make any of my mega, like, my big factory builds that I'm planning until I had Mark V belts, because I hate rebuilding factories, you know, and upgrading belts. I hate it. So now we can just move forward, right? Maybe we'll build our blueprint builder down here. Or there was some other space right here. This isn't big enough. The space isn't big enough, but that definitely down there down there is maybe we'll do it out in that glass oh, We got to roof that that looks unfinished. There's some things we got to do. We're, we're cleaning up. We cleaned up the outside We got to clean up the inside Before You know, we have our open house and I show this bad boy off in its own dedicated video. So yeah Yeah, definitely 
if this is your first time, I have, this is my 20th stream. I do four to six hour streams. And then I do edited episodes of those streams. So I'm gonna, you know, over the course of the next five days or so, I'm gonna take this VOD and I'm gonna edit it down to an hour to an hour and a half. They're usually an hour and a half and kind of do the best part. So you don't have to watch all the VODs to catch up. You can just watch the episodes and they're roughly one quarter of the time. I cut out time like this where we're, we're chatting. So, all right, I've delayed it long enough. I have got to go and I will see you guys on Saturday night. PST. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Before you go, if you could leave me a like, that would be great. And I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Now that the exterior cosmetics are finished, next episode we're continuing our quest to make the starter factory look finished by working on the interior, including a lot of light and lumen work. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. If I cut out anything you wanted to see, the link for the full VOD for this episode is in the description. And if you want to watch me hide wires and belts behind walls and foundations in real time, look for my live streams right here on YouTube. That's it for now. Until next time.